Welcome to Module 2 of Speak English Professionally, in person, online, and on the phone. There are three lessons in this module which will focus on connecting through video conferencing. In Lesson 1, we'll look at the basics of meeting online. In Lesson 2, we'll identify and classify expressions, vocabulary, and body language to use during online group discussions. And in Lesson 3, we'll practice applying these group discussion language in various situations. Let's begin. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce video conferencing, what it is, how we use it, when we use it, and why we use it. You'll have a chance to explore the many video conferencing websites and apps found online. At the end of this lesson, you'll set up your own online video conferencing account. So, what is video conferencing? It is communication through the internet which lets people at different places come together for a meeting. It can involve just two people getting together from their offices or many people in many different places connecting. When and why should you use video conferencing? Many of you can probably answer those questions because you are already video conferencing. In English, perhaps, or in your own language. Whether or not you already conference online, you know that today's work world is becoming more and more global. Professionals like you from many different places are working together and building relationships even when they cannot physically be together. They are meeting, talking, and sharing information by using online conferencing tools. In fact, some Georgia Tech students are interviewed through a video conference before enrolling. During a video conference, participants can also share PowerPoint presentations, videos, and documents. Additionally, the meetings can be recorded so that participants have a permanent record for their use. While meeting online can be very much like meeting in person, there are also special situations that make it different and more challenging. And because English is not your first language, you'll need to spend more time getting ready for English-only meetings. You'll need to plan what you'll say and practice. Your voice can sound different when you use a microphone or be more difficult to understand. So it's very important to pay extra attention to the pronunciation skills we looked at in Module 1. Let's quickly review some of the important points. Practice speaking slowly and at a steady volume. When we speak fast, it's very hard to understand us, especially online. And if people can't hear you, it doesn't matter what you say. Next, practice word stress. Check the pronunciation of key words you'll be using. If you mispronounce important words, your listeners will not understand your message. Finally, what do you need to do to speak rhythmically? As you practice, remember the rhythm of English. Stress the important words in your sentences. Say the structure words softer and shorter. This will make you easy to understand. Once you've practiced what you plan to say, think about the people you'll be meeting with and what they might need. Be prepared for questions that may come up. During the meeting, respect the other participants and watch how long you're speaking. Be sure everyone has a turn to speak. And when you're not talking, remember to turn off your microphone. Papers rustling, phones ringing, doors opening and closing can be very distracting. Very importantly, remain attentive to the meeting. Never forget that you're on camera and everyone can see what you're doing even if you're not speaking. Your face is what people will see, so you want to look engaged and friendly, both while you're speaking and while you're listening. Now, what video conferencing sites should you use? I'm only going to mention free sites, some or all of which you may already be familiar with. These include Google Hangouts, Skype for Business, Fuse, WebEx, GoToMeeting, and MeetingBurner. Before you move on, take some time to explore some of the sites and then choose one and set up an account. If you have an account with one tool already, how about trying a different one to explore other services? To recap, online video conferencing is an important tool for today's working professionals. It makes it possible to meet and share information easily around the world, and it requires special attention to pronunciation skills to guarantee that you will be understood and your online meetings will be the success that you want them to be. 
Online video conferencing blends 21st century technology with your experience and English language skills and creates opportunities for your success. So keep in mind everything we've talked about in your next video conference.